The state of Arizona is eyeing one of New Mexico's growing industries, film. Arizona is saying enough is enough when it comes to movies that are set in Arizona but filmed in New Mexico. Lawmakers there want to compete with our state's incentive programs to get business back. So what could they achieve by doing that? News 13's Catherine Ozone took a look at how well our incentives are working. Good morning, Catherine. Good morning, Crystal. Now, New Mexico film office officials say incentives have made all the difference when it comes to attracting productions to our state. Even before the legislature tweaked tax breaks a couple years ago, they say we already had two television series here. We now have six and potentially more with some pilots that are shooting here. So I think when it comes to attracting film and television, I think incentives are important if that's the business you want to be in. According to New Mexico's state film office, the state offers a 25 or 30 percent refundable production tax credit with a $50 million a year cap. Arizona wants to offer similar incentives to productions that shoot there, offering a tax break to those spending $250,000 or more a year with a $30 million cap annually. Production companies in Arizona say they hope those incentives will help to boost their film industry since many movies like The Lone Ranger and Spare Parts are shot partially there, but moved to other states. They say it would also mean bringing jobs back to Arizona. Well, I'm hoping uh, that we can get a lot more people in this studio working hard because I know there's a lot of creative people in this state. But officials with New Mexico State Film Office say it's not just our incentives that lure production to the land of enchantment. They say our sound stages, studios, and crew base are also a draw. Plus, we can double for a variety of locations from Cleveland to the Middle East. Back to you, Crystal. Sounds like good news for us. Thanks so much, Catherine. Now, one film, Lone Survivor, saved four and a half million dollars of its $40 million budget by shooting right here in New Mexico. That's according to the Los Angeles Daily News.